it's huh, Kelly Green Day, right? The birds, the jaguars, it ain't really much to discuss. Old coaches, you know what I mean, who took us to the heights of the heights in the NFL, always got love for Dougie P. Outside of that, they fool. Remember, fool. And what do you do with fool? You eat fool. You don't leave a crumb when you run into the Jags today. Not on Kelly Green Day. Not on Kelly Green Day. The disrespect to the birds at the beginning of the season, like people thought it was over. People thought it was over. People, pe people thought it was over. You see the Brandon Graham still got more left in the tank. You see these young boys, the way these young boys out here playing, man. Cooper DeJean, Quinion Mitchell. You see these young boys. Isaiah Rogers going to start the day. Jalen Hurts continuously being disrespected. Continuously being disrespected. And that's my real gripe. Before we get into the meat and potatoes, I got to let you know this video was brought to you by BetUS, man. Use code YouTube150. What that does is it enables you. It enables you to get 150% on your first deposit. 125% on your next two deposits after that. You know what I mean? Why would you not go with BetUS? It just don't even make no sense. You see, every content creator that makes sense is telling you to do these things. Quick and easy withdrawal process. Best betting variety in the business. Come on, man. And especially when you sign up, you get a personalized sporting agent, man. I mean, who not, who not getting free help? BetUS doing it, man. Make sure you gamble responsibly, man. The disrespect to Jalen Hurts will not be tolerated moving forward. It will not be tolerated moving forward they laugh they mock us they act see my issue is this you don't know how to properly digest or properly you know what i mean put on film while the kid keep winning you don't know how to do it so in turn what you do is you make excuses for success making excuses for success was never cool but that's what they do when it comes to jalen hurts man that's what they do. Jalen Hurts is on the brink of having his name in MVP talks for the third straight year. Now, when we was 10 and 1, they were saying MVP. They were saying he could be MVP, but then it collapsed. You know, you fall out of the rankings when, when seasons collapse. The year before that, went to the bowl. Second team all pro MVP. That's what they was chanting. That's what they was chanting. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, we're on the brink of another run. We could very well be 10 and 2. So that'd be 10 and 1 the last two seasons and 10 and 2 this year. They gotta start talking MVP. They gotta start talking about stuff like that. They gotta start talking MVP again. So how is somebody that consistently wins gets consistently disrespected? They crowned CJ Stroud last year. You know what I'm saying? They crowned the kid. The kid is great. I like it. But that tape out now, and what he looking like without weapons. And the fact that he's having a little hiccup right now, having a little sophomore slump, they want to say it's because of the lack of weapons. Nico Collins hurt. Stefan Diggs hurt. That's the reason why C.J. Stroud ain't C.J. Stroud. But when Jalen Hurts had to play without A.J. and Smitty and Dallas Goddard and a bunch of these guys had a game-winning drive without all three of them, by the way, won a game without A.J., by the way, when, when, when he had to do those things, nobody cares. They only care about how it looks. Pat winning a bunch of games, ugly. But that's what the winners do. The winners win. The winners win. Now that guys are healthy and the Philadelphia Eagles making light work, chump change, you know, you know what I mean? Treating these featherweights like pepper steaks. Now that that's what's happening right now, a lot of people, a lot of people don't know how to take it. Oh, he's winning because. They said the offensive line wasn't going to be good when Kelsey left. The offensive line is the best in the National Football League. They said Saquon Barkley wasn't going to move the needle for the Philadelphia Eagles. Saquon Barkley looking like a dark horse MVP candidate. People running around and say A.J. Brown ain't elite. Now A.J. Brown is the reason why Jalen Hurts cooking. What? All the excuses and disrespect to our name. We need a pass rush. Our defensive line is Nolan Smith that. Nolan Smith had three sacks the last, a sack in the last three games. Nicobe Dean this, Nicobe Dean that. Nicobe Dean on pace for 100 tackles. Queen Ann Mitchell, he just a rookie. Cooper DeGene, a punt returner. Come on, bro. Both of them top 10 rookies in the, in the NFL this year. When you come to Philly, when we putting on that Kelly Green, man, it's just going to be a long day for anybody, man. A long day for anybody. 
I want the defense to continue to play aggressive, to continue to play fast, continue to play downhill. You got to start talking about Zach Bond as a pro bowler. You got to. It only makes sense. I want the defensive line to continue to eat. I want the simulated pressure to continue to be dialed up by Fangio. I want it all. I want the Eagles to score points in the first quarter to get this game. That's going to happen. That's going to happen because that's the only thing holding us back is not starting off fast. Once we start starting off fast, stick a fork on whoever the competition is. Stick a fork on whoever the competition is. Stick a fork in them. I'm not looking past the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jacksonville Jaguars are just the next item on the buffet menu. I told y'all that these guys are food. They food. They food. And I know y'all ain't seen me the last two days. I know y'all used to getting at least an upload a day. But the project almost done. A Broken Crayon Still Colors will be coming to you guys real, real soon. I've been in the studio making sure that these guys get their return on investment. You know what I mean? The best investment you ever put out. You know what I'm saying? The music sounded good. Everything is everything is everything is what it's supposed to be. Everything is what it's supposed to be. Now this is my Sunday pep talk to the Philadelphia Eagles, man. Go out there and get it. Get it for the city. The whole the whole stadium gonna be Kelly Green at four o'clock. Go out there and get it for the city, man. The city counting on y'all to go out there and continue to feast, feast or famine, feast or famine. That's the name of the game. The Philadelphia Eagles gonna crunch the Jacksonville Jaguars, thirty-eight twenty.